Uh, my dear friends, right now, as you know, we are trying to learn power system protection. And in that, we are in transmission line protection using overcurrent and earth fault relays. Now onwards, I have started adding my numbers also and my email ID also. Uh, if you don't understand anything out of the video, you are most welcome to make a WhatsApp or send an email ID to me. Uh, we have by now talked all about the philosophy of earth fault relay uh, setting. So we will today calculate two examples. In which in one example there is no transformer and in another example there is transformer so that you may come to know that what is the difference in setting principles or setting philosophy in both kinds of uh, the examples. So after completing the two examples today's session uh, will be over. Right? Uh, and then I think probably uh, we will go to directional production. I mean, we will have to add. We have been adding one by one. You might be knowing that first we have seen only IDMT over current relay. Then we have added voltage controlled feature into that that you have seen, right? Uh, and earth fault philosophy is different. That also we have seen. And in next session, we will see that we will have to add one, one more dimension to the overcurrent relay because that is the requirement of the system. And thereby, we are going on making our network complex. It was simple radial feeder. Now we will come to parallel feeder. Then we will come to ring mains. Then we will come to parallel feeder fed from both ends. So slowly, we are going to talk about the interconnected system. No doubt uh, to talk about the seven bus or 11 bus interconnected system. Uh, you cannot carry on the setting of relays using manual calculator. You have to use some computer algorithm. Many computer algorithms are available for optimized settings that you have to use. So we will not go up to that extent. But yes, we will see many things which you have not learned in. I'm, I'm sure that you have not learned in university and many things which you might not be knowing that protection requires this. And fortunately or unfortunately in the field life, in the practice life, if you are in power system protection, this is required. So. We are entering into the example. Example 7.15 shows a single line diagram of a portion of a power system. There are three relays R1, R2, R3, which are normal inverse IDMT or current relays giving normal inverse characteristic. Each relay group is wired for three over current and one earth fault relay. So now we are going to plot a three phase diagram. The setting range of ground over current relays is 10 to 40 percent in seven equal steps. That is 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. And one ampere is the secondary current. The excitation current of all cities is 0 0.05 ampere. That is going to make a big difference as we are, as we have seen. The minimum operating time for IDMT relays is constant beyond PSM equal to 20 because it is IDMT. Definite minimum time feature is there. So if your PSM is beyond 20, you have not to take uh, 51 or 71 or something. You have to take PSM 20 only because there the characteristic becomes uh, constant. At TMS1, time of operation is 2.3 uh, seconds. TMS of relay R3 is given, obviously, one relay I have to give. 
because earth is to be coordinated with the fuse. And so I'm giving the fault currents at different buses are also tabulated in the table. So this is our system, my dear friends. We have got 120 megawatt, 11 kV, 0.85 PF generator, XD dash, because you see, uh, while calculating the relay settings, we uh, go for XD dash because in, in that period, relay is operating. Uh, so uh, we are taking subtransient direct axis reactors. 11 by 132 kV, 150 MVA GT, X is equal to 10%. One line AB is there 132 kV line. It is fed by 750 bar 1 CT to R1. Uh, second line is 132 kV line. It is fed by 300 bar 1 CT and feeds relay R2. Similarly, third line uh, relay R3 is there, which is fed by CT 100 bar 1. Loads are given as you can see, right? At D, it is going to 132 by 66 kV substation. At C and B, the loads are given. Generation is not there. So yet we are in radial feeder protection. But now we have to calculate the relay settings for ground relays R1, R2 and R3. That is, that is going to be the difference. So how to calculate? And therefore, I have given the fault currents for LLL fault also, LL fault also, LG fault also. But we are going to consider only LG fault because we are uh, calculating the TMS for uh, the ground relays. So please keep that in mind. Uh, going further, you see, we have to determine the plug settings of ground relays. So PS of R3 is not given, but we will take minimum 10% because that is minimum available. And we want to make the relay to operate as fast as possible. So we'll take minimum. And PS of R3 also we take minimum 0.1. You can take 0.05 also because it is it starts from 0.05. Uh, but I have considered, I have assumed 0.1. CT secondary current required to inject this current. You see, for injecting 0.1, you will have to inject from CD is 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 plus 3 into 0 0.05, right? Because uh, 0.5 is the uh, typographical error. Uh, your, our uh, CT uh, uh, excitation current is 0 0.05 ampere. So here there is an error, uh, so to say the typographical error, 3 into 0 0.05. That gives me 0.25. Therefore, CT secondary current at relaying point is 0.25. To inject 0.1, you will have to uh, have 0.25. So, primary current of 0.25, 100 bar 1 CT is 25. So, as we were telling, uh, sensitivity is 25% and not 10%. So, that is the disadvantage of the ground relays. CT... Therefore, what is the plug setting of ground relay? Plug setting of ground relay in terms of primary is 25 ampere. So now, because between R2 and R3, there is no transformer. As we have seen, we have, we have taken an example without transformer. So plug setting of R2 is going to be 1.3 divided by 1.05 of PS of R3. That is 30.9.3. 95 ampere CT primary terms, right? Now, if you go further, that 0 0.95, we have 0 .3, 30.95, you have seen that you will not go in primary terms. You will have to come to secondary. So, uh, secondary equivalent of uh, this CT, 30.95, and the uh, CT ratio is, let me see, CT ratio is 300 bar 1. So, if you take 300 bar 1 for uh, 30.95, then it will be, uh, it will be uh, 0.103, right? 300 bar 1, 300 is 1, what is 30.95? So, that gives me 0.103 ampere. CT ratio at relaying point 
R2 is 300 bar. When excitation current is 3 into 3 times 0.05. So this we have taken. So this means that minimum setting 10% of relay R2 will be certainly higher than 30.95 because 10% of 300 is 30 and uh, you have to take 30.95. So 30 is really, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the 0.103 is there, right? Uh, uh, and uh, it is, so 10% once again, 0 0.103, 0 0.103 is 10.3%. So uh, once again, you come to 10% for relay R2 uh, will be. You see, if you want to check with reference to other coordination between R1 and R2, if you take uh, the, uh, sorry, before we go to that, uh, uh, calculating in different way, flux setting of 10% is 0.1 ampere. Adding 3 CT currents is 0.15. So, uh, 0 0.25. 0 0.25 when you take to 300 bar when ratio, it is 75 ampere. And your uh, calculation is 30.95. 75 is certainly more than 30.95. So, you have to take 10%. So, R2 flux setting is also 10%. When now you want to calculate the time setting R2, R3 coordination. Fault current is 1192. Let us see. It is uh, 1192 at bus C because R3 is at bus C. So 1192. So 1192, if you take uh, 1192 divided by 100 is 11.92. But from 11.92, you will have to deduct 0.15 CT excitation current. So you are left with 11.77. So what is the flux setting multiplier of ground relay? 11.77 divided by 0.1. So 117.7. But you cannot take 117.7. So the time of operation of R3 is equal to 3 upon log 20 into 0.2 because uh, PS of uh, PS of R2. PS of R2, we have taken 0.2. PS of R2, we have not taken 0.2. PS of R2. Uh, PS of R2 is also 10%. But uh, the uh, TMS is 0.2. How we have calculated TMS point two? We have to uh, get uh, you have to get the time requirement is what 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 is the time requirement? Time requirement for uh, the relay R two is 0.25 second more. So what was the time of R one? R one time of operation was. Uh, uh, R1 time of operation is it anywhere? R1. Oh, so we are, we are not yet in the uh, R1. R3 is 11.70. Uh, yes, 11.77 ampere. Now, top of R3 is 3 into log 20 into 0 0.2, 0 0.46. Why we are coming to 0.46? Because we have to go 0.25 advance. 0.25 advance of what? 0.25 advance of R1. R1, the time of operation uh, is uh, 3 upon log 10 PSM into 0.1 log 10 PSM R3. So, uh, what is the uh, time of operation of R1, time of operation of R1, we have not yet calculated. Time of operation of R1, you have to calculate. Time of operation of R3 is uh, 
there is a there is a mistake. It should not be 0.2. Once again, it's a typographical mistake. 3 upon log 10, 20, 2.2 gives me 0.46. That is true. So we have taken the TMS of R3S 0.2 instead of 0.1. Uh, so uh, let us take that TMS of R3 is 0.2. So 0.46 second. And TMS of R1, you will go ahead. You see. TMS of R1, you will go ahead 0.25 second further. So if you go 0.25 second further, uh, TMS of R1 will come to be uh, 0.2 uh, ground relay and TMS. TMS of R3 is, this is example two, I'm sorry, example one, Example two, we have gone into application example. We are in the first example. So in first example, 30.95 is the CT primary plug setting. 30.95 is what? At 10% only that we have talked about. So now if you want to find out the time setting uh, between R1 R2 and R3 for 1192, then it will be 11.92 and plug setting multiplier comes out to be 117, but we take 20 only. So here we have probably selected the TMS of R3.2. So TMS of R3 is 0.46. So accordingly, you can calculate in the same manner you can calculate the TMS of R1 also because between R1 and R2 also the transformer is, is not there. Uh, transformer is not there. So uh, uh, here also there is some error uh, that ground relay R1 uh, the TMS is written in a reverse way. Uh, R3 is 0.2. R2 is 0.35 and R1 is 0.2 again. And we are taking the plug setting as 10% only that we have calculated, that we have seen. In all the cases, plug setting comes out to be 10%. So this is how you have to calculate the application example of the uh, ground relay, right? Uh, but so often you see it so happens yesterday so somebody was asking that when he's synchronizing the generator the breaker trips he is not being able to synchronize so i told him that you increase the tms of earth fault relay if your tms is 0.2 you go to 0.25 so so often you have to change the tms based on system requirements that means you have to by trial and error, you have to do it because from 0.2 to 0.25, nothing is going to be damaged. So that way also the TMS of ground relay changes. TMS of overcurrent relay will not change, but TMS of ground relay will change because for very high current, triple line fault, the the CTs will mismatch and the the when CTs mismatch the Current will pass through that. And if that current is higher than plug setting and time setting is less, it will operate and it will not allow you to make the break a transformer or generator on. You will not be able to synchronize the generator. So at that time, you have to change the TMS by 0.05. Say if it is 0.2, you have to go for 0.25. At 0.25 also, if it trips, then go for 0.3. That trial and error so often we have to do. So that was the example, right? Uh, so uh, a TMS 0.35, no doubt the table is taken first. That mistake has been done by the person who is doing decoration for me 
so TMS point thirty five for R two that is that is there TMS of uh, thirty five for R two. TMS of 0.35 for R2 and that calculation is here. You can see uh, you have to take 1192 ampere now. 1192 means bus B. Let us check bus B. Bus B. Bus B is 11. Uh, no, uh, R1, R2 and R3 are doing so 1192. When you do R1 and R2, 1653 you will take. Right. So you have taken 1192 and based on 1192, uh, after this table, this calculation is done and uh, uh, according to that table, TMS of R3 is 0.35. And if you uh, for R1 and R2 coordination, you have to take that current is different. You see current is 1653 as I told you and equivalent is 5.51 and 0.15 three times the current you have to deduct. So 5.36 divided by 53.6, but you cannot take 53.6. So top is 0 0.807 for R2, 0 0.35 is known. Based on the same thing, top of R1 is 1.057. Uh, so you have to go for 0.15. Let us see, we have gone in for 0.15 or 0.2. We have gone in for 0.2, right? Rather than you can go for 0 0.1057, so you can go for 0 0.15 also, but we have gone in for 0.2. So relay setting is a discriminatory thing. You can change a little because you see, if you keep 0.15, there are every chances that um, uh, while you are energizing a transformer or while you are making the motor on, uh, the breaker will trip because of the CT mismatch because CT uh, motor starting current is six or seven times magnetizing inverse current in the worst case can be 10 times and when you are synchronizing the, at that time also large current large inrush comes so at every time there is a possibility of uh, maloperation so uh, considering that instead of 0.15 we have gone in for Point two. So this completes the example one, uh, which is which was having no transformer. Now this is the example having transformer. See, this is the example having transformer between R two and R three. There is transformer. So R two and R three are completely independent. You are not to think about it. PS of R3 10%, PS of R2 10%, PS TMS of R3 0.1, TMS of R2 0.1. You are not to think, you are not to calculate anything. Very easy. But between R1 and R2, there is no transformer. So there the calculation will be required. Let us go uh, according to this uh, PS of R2. But, but that you will have to first consider the TMS of high set unit. TMS of high set unit is what? So TMS of high set unit R3 R3 uh, uh, is going high. Assume setting of range of ground delay as 10.40% of one ampere excitation current of all cities 0.1. So you have to you have to find out the uh, uh, the high set current of R3. So how will you find out R3 high set current? Let us see. R3 high set current. This example. R3 high set current. You have to take the current at D. You have to take the current at D. What is the current at D? Is it given? Is it given? Current at D. Current at D is given. 1676. So 1676 you have to see in secondary. Secondary is 16.76 because 100 bar 1 ratio is there. So 16.76 is there. So going back, 
16.76 is there. 16.76 minus 0.15, right? And uh, accordingly, what you will do? Uh, that we will see that uh, R3, TMS is 0.1 minimum, R2 also 0.1 minimum, R3 10%, R2 is also 10%. You don't have to think. PS of R2 in CT primary terms is 75 ampere. Those 0.1 plus 3 into 300. So PS of R1, R1, R2, you will have to coordinate. Right? So therefore current through R1 is 0 0.3095 minus 0 0.15. So 0 0.1595, 15.95%. So we go for 20%. I think uh, the high set values are not asked. Yes, 10% overage is there. So high set is also asked. Determine PS, TMS and setting of high set instantaneous units of ground relays R1 and R2 R3, and also suggest setting of high set instantaneous unit phase relays R1 and R2 R3. So that is done. See. That is now done. That is now done. That uh, uh, PS of R1, you have found out 20%. That is true. Now we are going for TMS. But before going to TMS, we have to find out high set setting. R3, 1602 by 300. Let us see 1602. 1602. Yes, triple line fault we have taken. Right? For that. Highest fault current we should take. So 1602. 1602 by, by 300 for R3. R3 is 300. R3. Yes, R3 is 300. So 300. So 1603 divided by 300 divided by 90. 100 minus 10. 10% is the, uh, uh, so to say, the uh, Overage, percentage overage. So 5.93, 593%, so 600% selected. 400 to 2000% uh, is I am going for 600%. High set setting of R2 is 100 to 144. We have gone for earlier bus, 2144. Let us see 2144. 2144. So 2144 means... Uh, but between R2 and R3, there is 66 by 132 transformer. So current will be less on R2 side. So according to that, the high set setting comes out to be 397%. But that is not available. Minimum 400% is available. So you'll have to go for 400. Similarly, R1, if you see 2094, let us see 2094. 2094. 2094. Yes, BBS. B bus 2094, 2094 by 300 because they are also uh, the CT ratio everywhere is 300. Let us see CT ratio is everywhere 300. So uh, 300 uh, uh, we are going for 2094 by 300, 775 percent. So we go for 800. So now we have to go for TMS. So when you Go for TMS. Here also the table is taken first. Probably the calculation is afterwards. What is the setting of high set unit of R3? Huh? It is. Uh, uh, this is uh, ground relays. Yes, first one was uh, phase relays. Now 1676. We are taking ground current. Right? 1676. Let us see 1676. 1676. 1676. So for the ground current, we are taking 1676. So 1676 divided by 300. So it comes to 6.2, so 620%. So we go for 650% because the steps of 50% are available. R2 will be 2560. 2560. Let us see B bus 2560. B bus 2560. B bus is 25. Uh, C bus is 2560. Because we are going for 
R R three uh, sorry R two and R two is on R two is on R two is near C bus. R one is near. R2 is on B bus, but we have to see on C bus. So 2560 we have taken. So 2560 we have taken. 2560 we have uh, taken R3 application example. I set unit. I set unit. I set unit. Uh, 2500 for R4 units. For earth fault units 2560 to 73%, but minimum 400% available. And similarly for R1 also uh, 749%, so 750%. Now, when you coordinate R1, R2, R2, R3 are not required to be coordinated. IF is 2024, and secondary equivalent divided by 300 will be 6.746, and this is more than 660%. Because you have uh, ground delay R2 will be equal to 660%. This is more than the I said 400 because R2 was 400. So R2 will not operate according to 3 upon log PSM. It will operate instantaneously, 0 0.06 seconds. Instantaneous, we consider usually 3 cycles. So plus 0 0.25, 0 0.31. And therefore TMS will be 0.1344. And we go for 0.15. So, formulas are common. Formulas are same. The construction is also same. But philosophy of less setting calculation is different in ground relays. So, you have to take care about ground relays. So, having told about that, I think, my friends, we come to an end to do our uh, Examples of earth fault relays. Uh, I every now and then, then I request you to stay tuned with Adapt Me, share with as many electrical engineers as possible, and request them to go through the videos. Now, in the videos, transcript is also there. So, if you do not understand my English accent, transcript has been introduced since last video. So transcript is available. So you will be able to and at the same speed that I am speaking, the uh, written uh, things will be written. So you will be able to understand. And uh, these things are not taught in any university. Right? These things were taught by my great guru, Dr. Date. So I have I know the subject to this depth, but in no university these things are taught. So please go through the video. If you go through the video, then only I will uh, gain the readers up. If you uh, hear the video, then only my hearing hours of yours will be added. If I hear, I, it is of no use. I can hear only once. Uh, so that will give me only 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.5 view hours. So if I want to, if I want more view hours, uh, I should, many people should hear. And I think in the world, there must be 80,000 electrical engineers who are concerned with this subject. And if 80,000 viewers uh, hear my 50 videos, then it will be 32 million viewers. And my friend, I'm very sorry to say that it is yet 1,000. So I'm not reaching the viewers. My knowledge is not reaching. Free of cost knowledge and nowhere available. I can, I can, I can bet uh, if you show me a book, if you show me a teacher, I don't mean to say that there may not be teachers. There may be these things. But books are certainly not there. I have, I have read foreign books also. In foreign books also, 
how to set the relay is not taught. So please stay tuned with Adapt Me. Let the name of Adapt Me be known to every electrical engineer in the world. That is my that is my dream. And my dream is so many uh, viewers are increased. So and that is only you can do. I cannot do. My loving viewers can do. My uh, intelligent and uh, people who are already working in the field, they know these things. Uh, they they require these things to apply in their field. So this is going to be useful, and the useful material is free of cost. So please. Keep in touch with Adapni. Till then, my friends, I thank you and good day.